Whether you're working alone on a hobby project, in a small group on something more ambitious, or a large studio about to start production on your next big project, version control is something you should probably be considering. While it may seem fine not to have one during the early stages of development, once you start needing to refactor your code base or get to a point where multiple people are working on the same file simultaneously, version control becomes an absolute necessity to get a game finalized and out of the door. Most of you watching this have probably been using some form of version control for a while now, most likely Git. And while it's perfectly serviceable as a version control solution, it has always been one that I've never really gotten along with too well, and I'm sure many of you have felt the same way. You see, it was never really designed for use in developing games, and so most folks just kind of put up with the complications a Git workflow throws at you because they feel like they're forced to for the lack of a better, affordable alternative. Well, allow me to introduce you to Plastic. Hi there, I'm Matt, and welcome to Game Dev Guide. In this video, we're going to take a look at six reasons why Plastic is such a good choice for version control as a Unity developer, and why it's a better alternative for large projects than something like Git. This video is sponsored by Unity. They've asked me to discuss how Plastic can fit into your considerations when choosing a version control solution for your projects. After all, much like how Unity supports various IDEs, Unity also supports many different version control solutions. So don't worry, you're not gonna be tied to Plastic if you don't want to use it. Much like you're not tied to using Visual Studio if there's something out there that's better for you. But avid viewers of the channel will know that I've been using Plastic for my personal and professional projects for a while now, so I fully endorse it as the best and most affordable source control solution for game developers. I really do not like Git. I find it to be a clunky, antiquated experience that's absolutely not built well for handling projects that have anything other than small text files in them. It would give me numerous headaches using it, and I would often lose hours troubleshooting for team members when things went wrong, which they often did. Plastic, on the other hand, has been an absolute blast for me and my team to use. I've been using Plastic for various different projects over the past few years, and have had a much better experience with it and way less headaches than when I was using Git. So I figured I would share with you some of my favorite things about using Plastic day to day, and why I think it's such a good version control platform for game developers, especially for games made in Unity. A quick side note though, while I tend to use Unity myself, Plastic is not just exclusive to Unity. No matter what game engine you're using or what code base you have, you can still use Plastic as a version control solution. It's just that there are a couple of extra benefits with Plastic if you do happen to be using Unity. If you're not a Unity developer, don't write this video off entirely because Plastic can still provide you with value even if you're in Unreal, Godot, or rolling with your own engine. With that out of the way, let's get started. It seems to me that the devs over at Plastic understand the different and unique requirements that each studio may have. As someone who has worked on various teams over the years, I've moved between needing to VPN into a private centralized server and having everything handled on site for security purposes to a fully remote distributed cloud-based solution where everything is handled locally because it's a small team. And so the devs over at Plastic have offered a variety of different ways for studios to use their tools by not only providing a centralized or decentralized option for their software, but also providing an affordable cloud-based solution for teams that don't want to deal with server admin in-house. This makes Plastic an extremely versatile platform. Plastic is incredibly easy to get started with. Most of you watching this will likely be fine with the cloud edition of Plastic, which offers free access for up to three users and five gigabytes of cloud storage. It's as simple as signing up with your Unity ID or creating an account if you don't have one and downloading the Plastic installer. Once installed, all you have to do is sign in and follow the setup wizard to set up your first repository. You'll even get the chance to set up a simplified version of the Plastic app for members of your team that just need the basic features. More on that later in the video. If you're migrating an existing project, it's as simple as just setting up a new repository in Plastic and copying the files over into that new repository's folder and then checking them in. Congratulations, you're now using Plastic. It works very similar to most of the other platforms you're used to. You can update your workspace, check out files, and check them back in again right here in the app. While I genuinely appreciate the advanced features available to me using Plastic's dedicated app, one of the biggest selling features for me is that Plastic is also built right into Unity, so I can check in, manage, and push my commits directly from the Unity editor using the Plastic window, which means I don't need to open the dedicated app. As I'm working on my project, this little icon up here will change to indicate that teammates have checked new files in and that I need to pull the latest version. 
Not only that, but the editor also changes how it functions. So I can also see files already checked out by someone else and choose to check files out myself or undo them within the inspector. Nowadays, I probably spend about 80 to 90% of my time just checking things in within the Unity editor itself, as it handles most of these basic tasks really well. This is especially useful for less programmer savvy members of my team who just want to do their work and not have to worry about the logistics of swapping between software and pressing the right buttons in the right order just to save their work. Frankly, one of the strongest motivators for moving to Plastic for me was that it was built from the ground up for game development and other large projects. And it's not just me. Unknown Worlds, the developers of Subnautica, have said that they experimented with various source control options before settling into using Plastic due to how user-friendly it is. And remember that I mentioned that Plastic is platform agnostic? Well, the Finnish studio Housemark have also been using Plastic for their latest hit, Returnal, which was made using Unreal Engine. I think one of the reasons that it's so compelling is that Plastic handles large file uploads with ease, as it's been built to remain performant and responsive with big files and huge repos. It can handle repos upwards of 5 terabytes flawlessly, and handles check-ins and updates up to 8 times faster than most other solutions. I genuinely cannot get across how lovely it is to upload a multi-gigabyte, multi-file check-in within a minute or two, thanks to how optimized plastic is, and this is clearly what makes it a version control system for games and not just a source control option, as you can keep all of your source assets such as art files, textures, project files and other assets inside of your repo rather than splitting them off in between different cloud hosting platforms or servers. In fact, Plastic is so accessible to large-scale projects that Unknown Worlds actually ended up storing entire builds of the Unity editor in their repo just to make sure that everyone was always using the right version, which is actually kind of genius. Imagine trying to do that with Git. Now, this isn't unique to Plastic per se, but Plastic takes full advantage of exclusive checkout permissions, so when a user starts working on a file and checks it out, the file becomes locked, stopping it from being checked out by any other team member until it's then checked back in again. As I'm sure you can imagine, this is an extremely useful feature for when you need to work on prefabs, scenes, materials, or generally any source asset that does not lend itself well to conflicts. No longer will you have to be at the mercy of two people working in the same scene without knowing. Games aren't just developed by programmers, producers, artists, and designers who don't want or need to know the complex systems of how source control work, just want to be able to make some changes to the project and have it saved. This is where Plastic Gluon comes in. Plastic offers a simplified variant of their software for these exact kind of users. Gluon makes it much easier to just do the basics for those that need it. What's more, Plastic also allows team members to work with individual files. So team members no longer have to download the entire repo if they don't need it. They can simply check out and download the files that matter to them, make changes to those files, and then check them back in. This is perfect for artists who just need to work with source files or designers who spend their time mostly in spreadsheets. Similarly, change lists give you much more control over the files you're working on and how and when to check them in. Artists are frequently working with thousands of files, and so change lists can help you break up files into different groups for different tasks. Instead of checking in thousands of files, you can simply check in a change list for that file and cherry pick previous revisions of the file to roll back to without rolling back an entire commit. And on the topic of changes, Plastic also includes a powerful revision viewer for image files, so different revisions of the file can be compared against more easily. I really like being able to swipe between two different versions and identifying the differences like this. Finally, one of the most valuable reasons for me for using Plastic is that it has excellent support compared to most of its competitors. Not only because it's now got the added benefit of using Unity's own support team, but I strongly feel like the developers care about the product and are actively working to improve it. Since I started using Plastic a few years ago, it's gone through various performance improvements and optimizations, and the client receives updates virtually every week. Some of the bugs I'd run into frequently in their client have been completely squashed now, and anytime I did have an issue, I was able to reach out to someone at Plastic and get the support needed to work around it within just a few hours. Not something that's easily achievable with any of the other platforms out there. So that's six of the reasons why I personally love using Plastic and why I think you might want to consider switching over from your current version control platform if you're not already using it. Plastic offers five gigabytes of free storage, so by all means, test it out for yourself first and see if you agree with me. A huge thanks to Unity for sponsoring the video and for more information on Plastic SCM to try it out for yourself and to see how some other studios like Psychoforge and Co-op are using Plastic for their projects, check out the links in the description down below. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and if you're using plastic, definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you like? What don't you like? I'm curious to know. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button as you'll get to see whenever I upload a new video. However, if you'd prefer to see more from me first, try checking out the suggested video on screen now. As always, thank you very much for watching and I will see you again very soon.